Hey everybody, it's Greg the Ghoul here and we're uh, starting in another day. Lights are getting flicked on and uh, shops opening up. But we had a small collection of underground comics that came in yesterday and I feel like I need to show them off because there was some pretty cool stuff that we got in. Uh, R. Crumb, um, uh, S. Clay Wilson, uh, Furry Freak Brothers stuff. So stay tuned if you guys are into those underground comics. I think... You know, the more you put out certain things, the more you get back. So maybe because we made that underground comic video, somebody saw it on YouTube or something, and they gave us a call. Um, so great collection. Uh, stay tuned to see what we got. Okay, so here we go. We have this uh, collection of underground comics here. And like I said, it's a short stack, but it's definitely a, a really nice uh, collection of stuff here so some big books and it's funny that I, I find that the underground comics definitely sell better than stuff like mad magazine or um cracked magazine stuff like that which is all very satirical material um but maybe it's because this sort of stuff's way more adult and it would still relate to someone who's older than like 10 or 12 like a mad magazine or younger i guess i don't know who reads mad but uh, i I barely sold any vintage Mad Magazines, so they kind of moved out of the shop, although we do have many. Uh, they just didn't move, so we kind of made room for other stuff here. But the Underground Comics definitely sell still, um, and we love bringing them in, and let's showcase this collection. Starting everything off here in no particular order, Hydrogen Bomb and the Biochemical Warfare Funnies. That's right, making biochemical warfare hilarious um this is from 1970 uh number one it's a uh, first or possibly third print uh the first and third prints have the dollar uh price tag on them and they're almost indistinguishable um the second print for some reason has 50 cent uh price tag on it so at least you can tell that's uh the difference that way uh, Gilbert Shelton, Crumb, Kim Deitch, uh, S. Clay Wilson, all featured inside. So, really hilarious book if you're looking for something political and funny. Young Lust, number one. We had many of these in the shop before. Um, uh, very, at times, pornographic, satirical, um, sex, you know, uh, romantic comics, but taken to the nth degree. Um, it's very funny stuff in here. Uh, 1971, I believe. Uh, I believe this is a first printing, too. Uh, features Jay Kinney, Bill Griffiths, Art Spiegelman has some stuff in here. So, really cool, funny stuff. Uh, Yellow Dog Comics, issue number 20, 1971, by Print Mint. I think there's like 23 issues out there. Um, 25, really, but I think some of the issues were double issues, so... 23 physical issues, uh, some good sci-fi stuff in here, if you're interested. Captain Guts, we have uh, two and three about the average American who drinks some beer and is able to gain superpowers. Uh, he fights drug deal. Oops. Um, had to clear out some space on the phone. That happens too often, so. All right, well, uh, yep, uh, average American Joe who drinks beer and becomes a superhero. Uh, something notable about this um, issue and issue two is the creator, uh, Larry Wells, who uh, went on to create the very uh, slutty character, Cherry Pop-Tart, a uh, very famous underground. I don't even know if you call her underground, but she's... Um, I guess an adult character, but uh, a play on Archie, uh, classic stuff. Here's Mom's Homemade Comics, straight from the kitchen to you. That's right, this is from Dennis Kitchen, 1969. Uh, Dennis Kitchen, at this point, an elder in the underground comics world. But back in 1969, he was just starting off in Milwaukee. He created his own underground comic scene there. Um, and put this book out. So thank goodness this was a success because uh, who knows if it wasn't and maybe he wouldn't have gone on and created more and uh, create Kitchen Sink Press and publish so many um, famous uh, underground names, R. Crumb to uh, modern day people, Charles Byrne and, and others. So thank goodness Kitchen Sink, uh, Dennis Kitchen had success with this book. 
because we have so much great stuff that came from him. Brady, your high tone comics. All right, we're really getting underground with this one here. Our crumb goodness. Uh, some hilarious content here. First print, I believe. You get Pete the Plumber, Horny Harriet Hot Pants, Stinko the Clown, and a Mr. Natural. All here in this one. Good stuff if you're an underground fan. Insect Fear. Love this cover. And Insect Fear number two right there. Uh, Insect Fear. Sort of a play on the EC comics. The horror stuff from the 50s. Uh, this is all insects attacking humans horror stories about insects uh s clay wilson spain gilbert shelton r crumb all featured in these issues so if you're looking for some horrific bug underground comics these are the two to pick up uh real pulp comics number one from 1971 just some gritty underground goodness with this bent is s clay wilson all over here um it's this is, this is like a demented uh you know where's waldo and you can look in every corner of this page and just find something new and twisted uh, much like the interior of the comic with an amazing splash page in the center uh, this is um also features uh, his checkered demon um so this is some great uh s clay wilson if you're into his stuff um zap comics all new number one here it is uh zach we have one two zero three four okay so zap comics uh what happens when your publisher decides to go to india with all your artwork for a while you just keep on creating so that's what happened to r crumb he submitted this work to his publisher and uh, didn't hear anything finally heard that his publisher took the artwork to india with him uh with a, on a trip so what he did was just kept on going he found a new publisher put out these two books uh his former publisher came back finally and had the pages and they put this stuff out uh so um, prints are a uh, pretty low on these you know but uh in conditions very nice so zap comics are crumbs um classic underground uh comic here it's revolutionary it's controversial so if you're into that check it out feds and heads 1970 i believe this is a fourth printing we have wonder warthog featured here gilbert shelton's uh wonder warthog and the first appearance of the freak brothers anyone watch that cartoon that appeared on uh I think Tubi? Is it a Tubi exclusive? Well, here are the Fabulous Furry Freak Brothers issues one and three. These are higher prints, I believe, um, but they're still fun issues. These collect the stuff that was like circulating um, in all sorts of different magazines, papers, underground comics, little bits from all over the place. Gilbert uh, reprinted them here. So we have issues one and three with this incredibly iconic underground comic cover and motor city comics from r crumb published by ripoff press uh, of uh, crumb has come under fire for creating some chauvinistic comics but with motor city um he created uh, leonore goldberg uh, clearly in his style his uh ideal woman but she is one of his most earnest feminist characters he has ever created so if you're looking for that a flip of the coin from uh our crumb here it is motor city and last but not least in this wild bunch we have two copies of mr natural first printings tough to uh distinguish the first printings uh one tell on this comic book cover is this slightly different color gradient i guess you would call it shading right here behind the foot and it does continue up covering this back part and it's extremely difficult to see here so i'm not too sure if the um the edition is an older edition or not but this is you can see it if you were um in person let's see if we can get up close there you go you can kind of see the difference here but it's way more prominent here and that does appear, from what I understand, on the first editions. 
Mr. Natural, 1970, First Prince, features... Um, he was featured a few times uh, previously to getting his title uh, comic, but Mr. Natural surely became one of the most iconic underground characters ever created, uh, probably along with the, the Freak Brothers. Um, and it all s s came about from uh, a acid trip that uh, our crumb was on so there you have it okay well there you have it so that is the newest stuff a nice short stack of comics that came into the shop recently all underground goodness and uh, while i have you i would like to feature some other underground items that are available at the shop so if you guys aren't looking for, like, the original comic book, we do have reprints of a lot of great underground stuff. Uh, Kim Dietz's stuff, reincarnations, uh, reincarnation stories, and the Spain collections are fantastic material. Just added to the table. Okay, so added just to the back of these. I found some of these classic Complete Crumb volumes at the warehouse the other day so i just added them to our table up front here featuring the underground comics that we got in a while ago and if you step over here we have this little shelf so we have paul kirshner's dope rider one of my favorite underground comics most of these were featured in high times magazine the artwork here is quite amazing uh, Here's a collection of the Fabulous Furry Freak Brothers that came out from Fantagraphics recently. And of course, Slow Death Zero, comic anthology of ecological horror uh, from Last Gasp. So, um, again, if you guys are looking for this sort of stuff to read it, um, as opposed to collecting it in original format, we got you covered. So just let me know when you guys come in what you're looking for. And uh, we'll take care of you. So thanks for sticking with me, guys. Threw out a lot of information there for you about Underground Comics. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the comic shop. Have a good one.